Hi, this is Lisa from Rural in the Urban, and today we're going to be going over sprouts and how to grow sprouts on your kitchen counter. Um, this is a sprout container that I purchased from a seed company online. I think it's Johnny Seeds. I think the price was maybe $16 or $17 for this. Um, I do have two of them, so I can have continuous sprouts. Um, all winter long and there's a solid plastic container at the bottom and one two three chambers for growing and then another top portion that's where you put the water in and let it drip all the way down so let me get this out of the way for a second I want to show you an end product these are broccoli sprouts, and um, I think they're about, I'm trying to think, probably seven to ten days old. Broccoli sprouts, for some reason, do phenomenally, phenomenally well. They grow, they're easy, easy, easy to grow. Um, well, actually, all sprouts are easy to grow, but these just, these grow fast, the broccoli sprouts, and they're gorgeous. Um, they do, however, have that typical broccoli like cabbage smell. Um, I did try to juice these one time. They're very powerful. So uh, I can only do like a small amount. But I do enjoy these in my salad. And this one right here. This is the um, alfalfa sprouts. I'm not sure if you can see this because we do have some glare from the sun. So let me go back a little bit. Here we go. Not sure if you can see it. That's the alfalfa sprouts. Once again, these are seven to ten days old. You can see they're a little shorter than the broccoli. Here's the broccoli so you get a really good look at it. Um, but just gorgeous. Full of um, uh, nutrients. Now I can pick this whole thing up and show you the bottom. That's what the root system looks like. Um, sometimes it will clog this little knob in here, but I'll go over that. Um, you can purchase sprouts online. You can also like go to your local co-op if you have one and um, purchase some of the seeds. Not a whole lot of them. So you're better off just uh, ordering them from a seed company online. There's also some wheatgrass um, websites too that you can order it from. Here's a mason jar. Um, get a little closer here. These are the alfalfa seeds. Once again, I think the lighting's horrible, um, but I keep them in a mason jar. During the winter, um, since I do grow them a lot, I don't vacuum seal them for the winter, but once um, I'm able to get my own greens from uh, the garden patch, I uh, will seal these up and um, put them back down in the basement on the shelf, and then I'll bring them back up in the fall. These are the broccoli. Sprouts, basically, they're broccoli seeds. And basically, these are alfalfa seeds. Um, both are organic. I have a bunch more down in the basement, but this is the, uh, this is the micro red Russian. These are very uh, mustardy. They're very, very spicy. So I tend to grow these in small amounts. But let's just jump right in and get this started. Um, <clears throat> per the instructions, when you order this, you do get an instruction sheet on um, how much seed to put on each level. And you'll get used to it. You can actually, if you want, I don't have a label maker. This is um, Chris's lovely labeling system. You can actually put right on the jar. But once you start using these a lot, uh, you tend to remember. I know with the broccoli and the alfalfa, it's a um, handy dandy tablespoon. So let's just go ahead and do this. This is just, this is just, this is so easy. And the only thing you have to do is just remember to water it three to four times a day. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I just do it twice. Sometimes I just do it once. It depends. Basically, you just drop it in the um, compartment here. And that's all there is to it. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to put this one on top, take the next level, and you can grow them to 
what you want. If you want more alfalfa or if you want more broccoli, you know, it's personal preference. These seeds are smaller. Like I said, you can put one tablespoon in here. It grows a very thick and lush. And that's all you do there. You sprinkle those seeds out. Let's see, do we want alfalfa or more broccoli? Hmm, we'll do another uh, layer of uh, alfalfa. Because I will juice the alfalfa. I tend to do that towards the end because um, it sometimes clogs the, not really clogs, get into, gets into the wire basket of the juicer. And then your next step, basically you just go to the faucet, which I can try to go over to, but the sun, and I don't have any backlighting. There's my faucet. So I turn the filter on, let it go till the light goes off, whoops. And then I just fill this up with some filtered water. And once again, this is just how easy this is. There we go. You want to make sure it's full, not too full, so you spill it. Flip that off. Bring this back over. Whoops. A little bit of shake there. Basically, all you do is put that on top. And that's all there is to that's all there is to grow sprouts. Um, super easy. Once again, you can purchase these online. Um, I'll give you a few websites where you can order from. Like I think I purchased these from Johnny's and they're um, organic. You don't have to buy the organic, um, but that's just a personal preference for me. And once again, that's all you do. And you water this, they recommend three to four times a day. The water will end up in this bottom section here. What I do, put the water in, go do something, come back, empty it out, or I wait to the next time I water it. And once again, this is what you end up with when you start sprouting. Um, excellent greens for the winter, um, organic greens, um, inexpensive greens because I know during the winter, you know, buying organic uh, produce gets very expensive in the winter. And these uh, go good with um, some salad dressing. Um, you can put them on a sandwich, you know, make some pita breads, grill up some chicken, bake some chicken and put this in with the pita, okay? Once again, this is so, so easy. Definitely, I would recommend um, sprouting for everyone. Once again, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.